<laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I was pleased to attend a tour of the new intercity trains last month, uh, which will service the Blue Mountains line. I had the opportunity to visit Sydney Olympic Park to view the prototype of the new fleet with my parliamentary colleagues, Honourable Taylor Martin, uh, Mr. Scott MacDonald, Mr. Adam Crouch, and the Parliamentary Secretary for Transport, Mr. Mark Coure. Wow. The new intercity fleet is an investment by the Berejiklian government of over $2 billion and will service the Central Coast, Newcastle, Blue Mountains and the Illawarra and South Coast lines and is set to be rolled out uh, in 18 months' time. The, th the first of over 500 cars, that's 40 to 50 trains, will arrive in Sydney early next year after extensive track testing in, uh, where they're being manufactured in South Korea. I am just one of hundreds who have had the opportunity to tour the prototype with numerous community and disability groups touring the site as part of the extensive consultation process which has been undertaken by Transport for New South Wales. The, st the state of art trains will include racks for surfboards and, and, and racks for bikes, bicycles, as well as stowaway sections for luggage, making it easier for commuters to store their bikes and their surfboards on their, on their train journeys around the state. While surfboards may not be in high demand in the Blue Mountains, the bike racks and luggage stowage areas uh, will be beneficial to the many tourists who travel to the, on the Blue Mountains line. The trains also include power points, which will allow for chargers for phones, iPhones and laptops a sturdy steel uh, tray table that folds down and a spacious, fully accessible uh, ba bathroom, including infant change areas. The seats, are, the seats are designed in a two-by-two two configuration with fixed seating, which is much more spacious than the older three-by-and-two long-side design. Fixed seating, whilst a new approach for intercity trains, will allow for more passenger space and eliminates injuries to passengers and rail staff from the older reversible seating model. The new intercity trains have also have digital display screens inside each carriage as well as on the outside of the train, which indicates to commuters which carriages are full, how many seats are available and still have room. Currently, extensive consultation is, is being undertaken regarding the future of guards on the trains or whether a customer service attendant will be better suited to supply commuters with information they need on their journeys. The new trains, though, will have the capacity to accommodate either option. I also had the opportunity to sit in the driver's compartment of the train. Which I must say are extremely spacious and uh, 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 fully digitalised and, uh, and very much like the state of art A380 jumbo jet. The new inner city trains will be in stark contrast to what the commuters have been living with under the former Labor government's trains, who refused to upgrade the, the trains on the Blue Mountains line, treating the Blue Mountains commuters like second class citizens. Not not the Berejiklian government. It is, be it is because of our fiscal management of, of this government that, that has allowed this government to invest and to deliver the state of art new intercity trains to the Blue Mountains commuters. It is only the Berejiklian government that has allocated money for the permanent upgrade of the Springwood to Lithgow train line. The previous Labor government never bothered or could not uh, commence this much needed upgrade of the over 100 year old train lines. Let's be clear the previous Labor government purchased the Oscar interurban trains, but because they could not fit the Blue Mountains line, they put the people of the Blue Mountains in the two hard baskets. They never got the new trains. Ooh. Newcastle and Wollongong got the Oscar trains, but not the long suffering people of Western Sydney and the Blue Mountains. They were told to make do with the 40 year old V sets, the same trains I caught when I went to uni in the 80s. I can also dispel many myths regarding the upgrade of the Springwood to Lithgow line. I can confirm that the upgrade to the Blue Mountains line will not, I repeat, will not involve any rail line closures other than those that are standard maintenance times and the upgrades are currently underway and ahead of schedule and apparently below budget, despite the fake news peddled by the local Labor Party. Oh, On the topic of fake news, I can also confirm once again that the new state-of-the-art Blue Mountains intercity trains will fit the tracks. We do not buy or order trains that do not fit the tracks. They will fit the tracks. It is, the Labor, it is this government that has made the significant commitment to upgrade this line for the long-suffering Blue Mountains commuters. We are future-proofing the Blue Mountains line. It was the Labor Party that allowed commuters on the Blue Mountains line to travel on the V-set trains uh, which are 40 year, years old and are overdue for retirement. The new inner city trains were purchased from South Korea after a competitive international market for tender, just as the Labor Party did when they purchased the Waratah trains from China. Oh. More hypocrisy from the Labor Party. The trains do fit the tracks. There is no cost blowout. The trains are ahead of schedule and the member of the Blue Mountain should stop running a scare campaign to stop spreading fake news about the inner city trains.